Hey, hi. So I'm gonna teach you how to set up your docking station with your Wolfcom Vision, and also set up the Wolfcom uh, configuration software. So we'll start with the docking station. You wanna take the included power adapter, plug one side into the wall, and the other side into the power port for your docking station. And then you want to take the included USB cable. You wanna make sure you only use the, the USB cable that was included with the unit because if you use a third party USB, you can damage the port on the docking station or on your unit. Okay, so now you're gonna take the USB, plug it into the center USB port, okay, on your docking station. And you'll take the other end and plug it to the USB, any USB port on your computer. Okay. On the docking station now, you wanna, there's a power switch right in front. You just wanna hit the switch, power on the unit. And now you wanna take your Wolfcom Vision, turn the clip 90 degrees, and then you wanna make sure that all your switches are all in the up position. So you wanna press them all up, slide them all up, and slide it up, make sure that they're all in the up position, okay? And now you wanna dock the unit, all right? Now the unit is docked, we will set up, I'll show you how to set up the configuration software on your PC. So you will have a download emailed to you from your representative, and after you download it, you will have this file. This is the Wolfcom Vision LE Edition software admin. You'll see that it has a zipper on top of it, which means it's zipped. So to unzip it, just right click on the folder, click on extract all, this window will pop up. We wanna click on browse, click on desktop, and then click okay. Then you're gonna click on extract, and then you'll see the folder pop up on the top right here. You wanna double click on that folder, and you'll see all five files. Now you wanna select all, then you wanna right click, and then copy, and then go to your desktop, right click on the desktop, and click on paste. All right, now you can close out this window. And the five files that you have are, this is the PC software, so configuration software. You have your drivers. You have our two programming files and the installation manual for this configuration software. So now what you wanna do is go to your Wolfcom Vision. You wanna to go to the OTR switch and press it down. So you're turning on your Wolfcom Vision. You're gonna hear it vibrate. And then you'll see this window pop up that says installing device driver software. Okay. Once it says installed successfully, that means you're good. But if this comes up and it says device driver software was not successfully installed, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your start right here, click on start, go to computer and right click on computer, click on manage, and your computer management window will pop up, you want to click on device manager, and you're going to be looking for this right here, Amba Simple Class with the exclamation mark. So what you want to do is you want to right click on that, click on update drivers, and you're going to click on browse my computer, and then right here you want to click on browse, this window will pop up, you want to click on desktop, then look for the driver folder, which is right here. Click on that, and then click OK. All right, here you wanna click on Next. You'll see this window security pop up. You wanna click on Install this driver software anyways. All right, it'll take a few moments for it to install the drivers. All right. So now it's gonna say Windows has successfully updated your driver software. You can close this window. 
Alrighty, and you'll see it uh, pop up in the device manager. And now what you want to do is go back to your Wolfcon vision. And then at the OTR switch, slide it to the up position to power it off. Okay, now we're going to close out this window. And now we're going to open up the PC software configuration for the Wolfcon vision. So you want to double click on our Wolfcon vision logo. And here you will see our setup software. Okay. So now you want to go to the vision and just power it on. You hear it vibrate. And now you'll see the current settings populate with all your settings. That means your vision has successfully connected to the computer and also to the PC software. All right. So I will let you, I want to explain to you a couple, a few things about our PC software. Right here where it says change password. If you wanted to set your password on, what you want to do is you put your password into here and make sure you click submit. Okay. The badge ID right here, you could put up to 10 alphanumeric characters right into there. So I could put one, two, three, four. And then the device ID is your Wolfcom Vision serial number. Okay, this cannot be changed and every device has its own unique device ID number. All right, and then you go down this time zone. Time zone is used for if you're using a GPS device, you could select your time zone to your location. We're at negative eight. And this is the time set. You want to make sure that the time on your computer is correct because if you go down here, this is the time that's going to be stamped onto your videos and your photos. So that's going to automatically be synced with your computer. Okay, the date and time. Down here, you can click on this button to go to our website. It's going to go to our website and show you all the training videos on how to use the Wolfcom Vision. And the button below for troubleshoot and help, if there's any pro if you have any problems, you can click on that and it also goes to our troubleshooting section on our website to assist you in any problem you have. Right here is the mode select and settings. Uh, some of you, if you don't see pre-record, that means you might not have purchased the pre-record version and you just, pur you just purchased the consumer version. So this one right here, we're showing you the pre-recorded version. So you have normal mode, easy mode, and pre-record mode. If you want to learn how to use each mode, you can uh, refer back to the Wolfcom Vision user manual and it explains exactly how to use each mode. Right here I want to explain to you also the different features and settings that we have that you can set. Right here is password, if you wanted password on or off. We have video resolutions from 640 by 480 all the way up to 1080p at 30 and 60 frames a second. We have different compression rates, which is how compressed you want the file, how clear you want your files to be. We have video formats. Uh, we have MOV and MPEG-4, so it's Windows and Apple um, safe. You can use it on both. You have audio record, which is yes or no. This is the audio in the video uh, files. If you wanted to turn off the audio in your video, you just select on no. You have Recycle Record, which you can select from 30 minutes to 1 minute. You have Pre-Record Audio. This selection will be blacked out until you click on Pre-Record Mode. This will be, it'll, it'll populate. All right, so let me just go back to normal mode. You have Loop Record, which is once you're, it's first in, first out, so if your memory is full, if you want it to record over itself, you click on yes. If not, you click on no. You have photo resolution. You can select between 3, 5, 8, 12, and 16. 5 is true, and anything above is all interpolated. You have the public awareness indicator, which is what we call our PAL light, which is located in the front of the unit, the recording uh, record light. You can set it to flash, off, or on. You have the date and timestamp. 
date time stamp is on your video and photo file. So if you want it stamped on there, click on yes. If you don't, click on no. GPS stamp. If you're using a GPS module and you want the GPS location stamped onto the video, you click on on. If you are not using a GPS module, just click on off and the GPS coordinates will not be on there. Right here is one touch record. One touch record is also, um, it's an on and off switch and also the start and stop recording switch on our device. If you click on normal, it's down to start recording and up to stop recording. If you have it on advanced, this is our patent pending technology called AVD technology, which is anti-deactivation video recording. So if you select it on there, it's powered down or pressed down to start recording. And then it's gonna be a up, down, up motion to power it off and stop recording. Okay. Right here, we have language, English. And then this is the current settings. So in current settings, it's going to show what your Wolfcom vision is currently set at. Okay. And then down here, you have reset to factory default. You will not need to use this. And if you want to contact your sales rep first, if you're going to use that so they can explain more about it. You can also use format. Format is to clear out your whole entire device at one shot. So you can click yes or no. And if you were to, if you wanted to change any of your settings, let's say I go in and I want to change the photo, re the video resolution to 720p. Let's select MOV. Let's put it at eight, and let's have this on flashing. All right. Once you set, once you select all your settings, you want to go on to apply settings. You want to click on that, and you'll see that populate. That means it has been saved. Okay. If you wanted to view your files that you have recorded, you can click on connect to computer. And once you do, you'll see an autoplay window pop up and you can double click on open folder to view files. And you'll see the file come up, you click on DCIM and then 100 media. And this is the video on your Wolfram vision. And there you go. All right. So that's how you set up the Wolfcom Vision to your PC software or PC computer.